This is where science, art, and engineering meets. Wave simulations is hard. We're going to show you something for the very first time. It's a real-time Beaufort scale. And the reason why it's called Beaufort scale is because it, it covers the entire range of the Beaufort scale. You can now program, tell this ocean simulator the speed of the wind. And from the speed of the wind, it simulates the reaction of the ocean. The simulation reaction of the ocean then affects all of the objects that are on it. How it looks, how it behaves, and hopefully uh, you guys are going to be blown away by it. But before we start, let me show you where we are. Let me show you where we came from. This is how ocean simulators look today. So you, this is a, uh, we, we drew a simple ship so that you could focus on the ocean. This is the state of the art of ocean simulation. This is something that we did several, couple of years ago. And uh, you can see that the ocean simulator is pretty, you know, most of, most of the waves are relatively consistent. Uh, there's, no, there's no spray, there's no, uh, this is about as far as we can go with it. There's no spray, there's no foam. And it doesn't, it doesn't respond to wind. It doesn't really matter what, what wind blows on over this. Uh, it, it's pretty much like this. And so we decided that interactive ocean simulation can really go to the next level. And you've seen some work that, that uh, pioneer work that was recently done by Rhythm and Hughes um, for uh, the movie The Life of Pi, where the ship sank in that tsunami. That ocean simulation is state of the art. It's fantastic work. Now what we're going to do here is completely in real time. It's completely real time, so, so for example, a gamer could actually be on one of those ships, and as the wind picks up, as the wind picks up, the ocean will start uh, to respond accordingly. And so this would be, I would say, what is this? This is a Beaufort level six, so this is um, rough seas. Um, there are 20,000 sensors around the hull of the ship and is sensing the water pressure from the wave simulator. The water pressure will inform the physics simulator how the boat, how the ship, how to respond depending on its weight and depending on the scale of the ocean and of course the speed that uh, how many knots the, the, uh, the ship is going. Um, as the, the, the sensors also picks up the water proximity and the velocity of the ship and where it hits and strikes the water um, appropriately, spray will blow up in the air. And some of the spray will get picked up by wind and, um, and blow away. There's 100,000 spray particles. Some of the spray will fall back to the ocean, mix in with the ocean, turn into bubbles, and subsequently foam. The smoke is also being simulated according to the wind. Velocity, and now we're at Beaufort 10, which is um, high gales and close to a hurricane. This is not quite the perfect storm, but it's getting close. 